It's no secret that childhood beauty pageants are pretty controversial and they raise serious questions about the sometimes thin line between exploitation and harmless entertainment. Let's find out what some experts and some parents think about the whole issue. Why would a child want to erase their so-called wrinkles? That's a good question and one that was answered by pageant mom Kerry Campbell in 2011 after she admitted to injecting her then 8-year-old daughter Brittany with Botox. Um, it hurts sometimes, but I get used to it. Kerry claimed that Brittany herself had asked for the injections. I just like don't like think wrinkles are nice when little a girl. Kerry explained that the other pageant mums were the ones to point out the lines in Britney's face and suggest Botox. You know, a lot of the moms there, they're giving their kids Botox and it's pretty much like the thing. I'm not the only one that does it. A lot of moms do it. That doesn't make us feel any better. According to some experts, many pageant performances have disturbingly sexual undertones. Harvard sociologist Dr. Hilary Friedman gave an interview to the Deseret News in 2012 and said, on these reality shows, you can go out as a six-year-old and wear a ton of makeup and have a bare midriff. So many see these girls on TV, and as they are watching that and when they see it become suggestive, it seems okay. Sure, it's all a matter of opinion, but some things like a small child wearing a cone-shaped bra really do seem to be a bit much. When the reality TV series Toddlers and Tiaras premiered, it almost immediately became a major point of contention. The program's detractors accused its adult participants of a wide range of highly questionable behavior. Some of the show's most notable controversies included an instance when a four-year-old tasked with impersonating singer Dolly Parton was padded with fake breasts and an ample rear end. Another little girl was dressed like Julia Roberts' famous prostitute character in a Pretty Woman-themed performance. And it's outfits like that that gives us a bad rap. Honey Boo Boo's mother, Mama June Shannon, was criticized for giving her daughter what became known as pageant crack, a combination of Mountain Dew and Red Bull. Some experts have suggested that pageant dynamics might be more about the parent than the child. In 2012, the University of Arizona cited a study written by Martina M. Cartwright, a registered dietitian and professor who works in nutritional sciences. Cartwright, who was present for two live filmings of the show Toddlers and Tiaras, observed many pageant parents engaging in what she dubbed princess by proxy behavior. This suggests that those parents are essentially obsessed with the financial and social opportunities the pageants provide. Any risks to the child are secondary or not really considered. She also pointed out that child pageants are a billion-dollar industry. Cartwright added, I think if the public understands why the parents are doing that, then they won't pay as much attention to these pageants. Playing dress-up is a time-honored tradition for children. It's not unusual for a little girl to want to throw on a princess dress and play pretend. The key, however, is to have fun with it. That, some say, is the main difference between dress-up and pageantry. As psychologist David Carey put it, according to the Irish Examiner, the work of childhood is play. Let children be children. Put the parents on the catwalk if they want to compete and see how they feel about it at the end of the day. On the other hand, some pageant parents maintain that pageants are, quote, no different than other hobbies that children have. Pageants are just like any sport. When it comes to, you know, sort of dance, ballet, you know, we, there's the same sort of things on the same sort of arena. 